Our solar system used to have nine major planets, according to astronomy textbooks, for 76 years. But in 2006, Pluto was demoted to be a dwarf planet, a controversial decision that created a new world, Pluto, meaning to be downgraded. Many people still think Pluto should be the ninth major planet from the Sun, but there is another question about Pluto. Is its biggest moon, Charon, really a moon? Pluto's story is one of discovery, debate, and a new category of objects. But are we wrong about this distant world and its large moon? Could Pluto and Charon be the first double planet system in our solar system? You're watching Luminary Cosmos, and if you like my videos, subscribe and tap the notification bell. Pluto is a dwarf planet in the Kuiper Belt. It has red snow, blue skis, mountains, and glaciers. It is fascinating, but its largest moon, Charon, is even more interesting. Pluto was discovered in 1930, but Charon was not seen until 1978. It was named after the boatman who carried souls to the underworld in Greek mythology. We did not know much about Charon until 2015, when NASA's New Horizons spacecraft showed us a strange surface with a huge red patch, a magnificent canyon, and a weird hill. Charon is about half the width of Pluto, and the largest moon relative to its parent body in the solar system. So is Charon more like a dwarf planet than a moon? And if so, does that make Pluto and Charon the first double planet system in our solar system? Binary objects are common in the universe, but double planets are rarer. The criteria that distinguish them are not clear, but the most common one is that the center of mass between the objects has to be outside their bodies. They orbit a common center of mass, called the barycenter. Every object has a center of mass, that exact center of all its material and the point at which it can be balanced. The center of mass is the point where an object can be balanced. Sometimes it is not in the middle, like a sledgehammer. In space, objects orbiting each other also have a center of mass called the barycenter. They orbit the barycenter, which is the center of mass is the point where an object can be balanced. Sometimes it is not in the middle, like a sledgehammer. In space, objects orbiting each other also have a center of mass called the barycenter. They orbit the barycenter, which is usually closed to the highest object. In the Earth-Moon system, the barycenter is inside Earth, so the Moon orbits Earth. But in the pluto charon system, the barycenter is outside Pluto, so both objects orbit the barycenter. It is this point that orbits the Sun and the Pluto's four other moons also orbit. Pluto is just the largest object in a system of objects orbiting a common center of mass. Because of Charon's size compared to Pluto, they were considered a double planet before Pluto became a dwarf planet in 2006. But I think they should be our solar system first double dwarf planet system. The International Astronomical Union IAU, defines a dwarf planet as a body that orbits the sun, has a round shape but has not cleared its orbit. If Charon does not orbit Pluto, it is not Pluto's moon. If it meets the first two criteria, it is a dwarf planet. If both Charon and Pluto orbit a center of mass outside Pluto, they are a binary dwarf planet system. They may not be the only ones, Aris and Dansnomia, Orcus and Vant, and Varuna and Almar, could be the same. How they formed is unknown, but Charon could have been created by a giant impact on Pluto. The galaxy has many binary stars and our solar system has many binary asteroids. So why not have a binary dwarf planets as a category? Pluto's demotion in 2006 was controversial, but it fixed a mistake from decades before. But couldn't it still be wrong? Should Pluto and Charon be in a new category as our solar system's first of all dwarf planet? So viewers, that's all for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, then tap the like button and subscribe Luminary Cosmos. There is plenty more to come. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.